and welcome back to round four of this episode of Outside the Deck Box. We are currently two and one in this daily event, having just taken a loss to Esper. Uh, I'd like to remind you that the companion article to this will go up on puremtgo.com, and I am your host, Joshua Clater, smiling politely. We lost the die roll, so we were 0-4 in die rolls. And we get an opening hand that looks a little bit like this. I'm apparently the top player, so let's bring this down. We've got a Swamp, a Thought Seize, a Reaper. We've got some plays. He goes Temple of Silence. I have Thought Seize, the Thought Seize. This, by the way, he has Mulligans and missed a land drop, even though he had a land. Um, and Thought Seize me back to get my Lot of the Troll. The Thought Seize that I showed, shown Detention Spear, Thought Seize, Planes, and Jace, I obviously took the Jace. I don't have a 2-drop, that's okay. I make a Dread Mangle, Mangler, and it's time to Mangle Face. I don't draw another land, it's alright, let's make another Mangle, Mangler, Mangle more Face. He's got Temple. I thought sees him. His thought sees. Um, he showed his hand and then conceded, but I saw a blood baron in it. Uh, that blood baron was gone, and that blood baron actually helped me figure out my sideboard a little bit more. So let's go ahead and go on to round or game two of this. There's my hand again. We'll go ahead and open it up so that people can see it. We've got some disruption, we've got some early creatures, and we've got Mistcutter Hydra. He mulliganed again to four. And the duress, when I played it, it showed... Dark Betrayal, Island, Detention Spear, I took the Spear. He's getting his lands on. I cast Lotless Troll, fully expecting it to get Dark Betrayaled. There's a Jace. Great, I get to deal with more Jaces. I split that. As you saw, it was Blood Baron, Thought Seas, and Hero's Downfall. I split up Blood Baron or the other two, he took the other two. This pithy needle names Jace. I make a Witch Stalker and I attack for two. I go ahead and attack the Jace just to get him off the board though. The troll meets his end off the Dark Betrayal. And my Mist Cutter got Thought Seized. I draw another Thought Seized. That Thought Seize showed Hero's Downfall. I took it. I made a giant Dread Mangler. Mangled Face. He Supreme Verdicted. I made a Reaper. He has no other plays. I draw Lotless Troll. I attack for six. I don't cast anything else. And there's a reason I don't cast anything else. I feel like he has Dissolve in his hand, and if I cast Dissolve, give him a target, let him scry something dead, to maybe give him a live draw, he might work his way back into this game. As it stands now, there's six points of damage on the door that he can't deal with. I attack for six, and that ends the game. So... We ended this tournament 3-1, got our six packs and our QP, which I really don't care about. Um, I'm going to record a, another match just so that we can have a nice round five for the article. Uh, so we'll be doing a two-man here shortly. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching this edition of Outside the Deck Box, looking at the black-green deck that I have just worked and worked and worked and worked on. 
Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to, to contact me in comment sections here or on puremtgo.com. And again, I'm Joshua Clater. Thank you for watching.